This video shows several ease of use features that you may not know exist on a Keysight InfiniVision X series oscilloscope. First, holding down any hard key or soft key will bring up context sensitive help. For example, if I hold, hold down at the mode coupling button, I will display on screen what this button does. On the other hand, if I go to the acquire menu and I hold down the acquire mode soft key, it'll bring up help about the current acquisition mode, which in this case is normal. If I now change that to say peak detect and I hold it down again, it will bring up help about peak detect mode. Now let's take a look at what these multiplex knobs and LEDs are for. So the knobs can control the vertical scaling of the digital, math, and reference waveforms. They are not used for the serial waveform. The light indicates which of these three knobs uh, or selections is currently being used, digital, math, or reference. These knobs are never used for serial, so this LED never comes on. On the latest 3000X T series, we put in a second dedicated FFT button here and move the serial knob since this never comes on. So, for example, if I turn on the reference, I'll turn on reference 1, I can control the scale as well as the offset. If I turn on math now, it automatically turned on 1 plus 2. I can, it, the reference is still on, but it indicates that these knobs are controlling the math waveform. Next, I'd like to point out that all of the knobs are pushable. So for example, if I push in the larger channel 1 knob, I get fine scale. So instead of moving in large 1 to 5 increments, let's turn this off, um, it'll go in much finer increments. So the standard stuff is, um, one, uh, for example, 100 millivolts, 200 millivolts, 500 millivolts, 1 volt. So for example, 1 volt, 500 millivolts, 200 millivolts, 100 millivolts, 50 millivolts. But if I push it in, I, all the knobs do something neat. So this one, notice the scale is changing in much finer increments now. The smaller offset knobs, zero the offset. So if I apply a lot of offset, push it, and it brings it back down uh, to zero offset. The trigger knob, uh, trigger level knob brings it to 50%. You can use these to select, um, push for fine, push to zero, push to zero, push for fine, and push to select. Next, I want to point out um, an auto scale option. We can find this under the utility hard key, option soft key, preferences soft key, and then finally, auto scale soft key. Here I can do undo auto scale. Fast debug is kind of neat. If we hold down the help, it'll tell us how it behaves. What I really like is the ability to change from uh, all channels to be auto scaled or only displayed channels. So right now I have all, so let's do an auto scale. All right. So perhaps I don't want to see channel one. So what I can do is I'm gonna change this mode to only displayed and turn off channel one by clicking it twice. And now when I hit auto scale, it should only do channels three and four. Finally, I want to show you how to gate what data you save. So if we go to the Save um, Recall menu, select Save, and then for a lot of the easier things to do, um, just uh, CSV, which can be large, or ASCII, um, which is also CSV but will allow for the full record. If I go to Settings, and I select, let's do a Stop, so we have all data available, I hit Max Length, and this will save all of the data on screen. However, if I use the horizontal zoom feature, I can change the size of this window. Let's move it over, for example, now. Now, when I go to Save Recall, 
and go to the settings key, soft key. Notice that the length is shorter, and I'm only saving what's in this zoom window, which is displayed in the lower grid. So, so hopefully picked up a few tips from this video. Thank you for your attention.